Um, first things first, I'm kind of a little sick, so my voice sounds a little weird. But anyways, for this video, I'm going to be doing a one brand makeup tutorial with the brand Wet n Wild. And let's get started. So usually I'm in the shade Soft Beige with their Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. But since it's summer and I've gotten a lot more tanner since the Bahamas, I'm going to be using Desert Beige. The foundation has a spatula like applicator which I really don't mind. I like to use a sponge to apply this foundation because I feel like it ends up looking more natural to the skin rather than like cakey. And I think this foundation is, it's a medium coverage foundation and you can definitely like, you can add extra layers to make it a full coverage foundation though. I think that is definitely the plus because you can add another layer and it doesn't look nasty. Like it'll still look really pretty. And I know Manny MUA really likes this foundation, and I agree. So now our foundation is on. I'm going to be using the Photo Focus Concealer in the shade Light Ivory. Mm. I would say this concealer is pretty thick, and it definitely does cover my dark circles. So I'm not mad at it. I'm going to set my under eyes with the... Photo Focus Press Powder in the shade Warm Light. And honestly, this concealer is now starting to set in my skin. And this is a no-go. This is a no-go from me. This concealer is just setting under my eyes and emphasizing all of my pores and like bumps and things that the foundation didn't do. So I don't recommend the concealer. It does it does the job, but it does not amaze me. So after the concealer didn't really do a good job, this Wet n Wild Press Powder really saved me. Like this looks really pretty and I've used this lots of times before and this is a really good press powder. Like it it honestly sits on your skin really pretty and it gives you like a almost like satin to matte finish because you don't look drying matte. So if you're dry, which I am, it doesn't look bad on your skin. So next for the face, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. <gasps> Contouring Palette Contour? What a name. Anyways, in the shade Dulce de Leche. So the contouring kit was really nice and I definitely recommend that if it's in your shade for sure, the Dulce de Leche. Although I forgot to use this product in my video, this Wet n Wild makeup stick and this is their contour shade. I haven't used it too much so I'm not really 100% sure if I love it yet. But it does really snatch onto your skin and although it's very warm, a very warm shade it's a very pretty warm shade don't let this part fool you like it's a really pretty color for blush I'm going to be using their wet n wild color icon blushes and I'm going to be mixing the two shades pearlescent pink and mellow wine and this is what they look like they're really pretty this one has like a gold reflex in it and this one's more of like a just a peachy orange kind of look but these are really pretty and they're very pigmented and I suggest that you go snag these for eyes, I'm going to be using the All Natural palette, and this is in Bare Necessities. And this is what it looks like. Most of them are shimmers, so it's kind of a downside to it. But we'll see how they work out.
So the palette wasn't too pigmented, but it wasn't terrible. It did a pretty job, and I mean, most of the most of the colors were shimmers, so it's kind of hard to probably do a different look besides using these only two mattes as your transition shade. I wouldn't recommend it if you're trying to make it like a go-to drugstore palette. So maybe if you're looking for a shimmer palette, it might be your palette. So next, I'm just going to use their liquid eyeliner, and it's their Mega Liner. It has a really, really tiny, tiny applicator and it's perfect to do a sharp wing so this I definitely recommend and love it. Last I'm going to be using Wet n Wild's Lash Renegade Mascara and this is what the tip looks like. It has like a little ball at the end. And last, I'm going to be using their Mega Last Liquid Cat Suits in the shade Coral Corruption. And the last step for the day is to highlight the face. And here is the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Precious Petals. This looks really like reflective and really pretty. really living for this highlight right now it's probably like four dollars or something very close to that and it works like a high-end product so that's about it for the one brand tutorial on wet and wild i really love the brand so thanks for watching subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i hope i at least entertain you guys even if you're not into makeup and leave any comments on any future videos you guys would like to see or it doesn't even have to be makeup anything that you're interested in getting to know about me or Really, I'm open to any idea, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Just use the ball for the bottom. Oh! And then I'll just use the ball to do the bottom. Oh! Oh!